doing. Blooming winter as rod, I reckon, because it's, uh, oh, it's about seven degrees today, or it has been the past couple of days, and yeah, it's bloody cold. Coat weather now. So, um, but today, anyway, today we are on Zinfestrek. Uh, I'm going to go power hourin. Um, some of the ground, I think was it the T's? No, I, I did play at the TW, it was in one of the TW vids, I think. I think so. Anyway, anyway, I planned it with the TW, we're going to go and level it with the power hour today, ready for drilling winter beans in it. So, um, uh, that's what we're up to. We're going to diesel this up, get the power hour on it, well, on the trailer, and then down to the field. Um, Bill from upstate New, New York, you always ask me about the, um, the floor in here. And, um, as you can see, the floor, well, apart from a bit of dirt on it, because it's where we've had the drill in here. We've got the round baler. I've still got to clean the round baler down, but it's been dry. You know, it's been under in the shed, so um, it'll all be dry, so it'll just blow off easy, like, um, once we've done drilling and that. But yeah, this floor, perfect still. Perfect. Got the one, um, it's only got the one expansion joint between the two pores. And uh, yeah, no cracking, no anything like. Been perfect, lovely, lovely shed really. It's a shame we have to put cows in here. This is an excellent barn for kit. But uh, anyway, let's fire this old puppy up. Enough of me waffling, and we'll get on. Yeah, since the um, well, the fast track folks video. When was that? A month ago? Maybe more. I can't remember when it was now. Um, that's all been fine ever since, dash doesn't flash or anything like that. The remotes are all been fine, no issues, so um, yeah, jobs are good really. Really, this job's good. Uh, just coming in the field now. No new trouble with um, four meter power hour, they don't tend to be folding, so. Um, yeah, I have to um, unload it, hook it up, and then when you want to move to the next field, you've got to bloom in, take it off again. So it is a faff, I'll give you that, but it is a decent, um, it's a decent power hour. Very nice power hour, actually. KV, Kvernland. Lovely day for it as well. Sun shining, bit of a breeze. I'm going to put it on here because we've got a nice bit of flat ground here. Alright, PTO off. We'll put that, uh, that there. We'll put that on when we get it off. Take the strap off. We should be able to crack on fairly well in here because um, it's weathered quite nicely. It's not particularly hard, so so it shouldn't be a problem. to drop off and a con now. Right, just creep under. Like that. Pretty sure we've got it there. Yeah, I think we're a little bit too much but um, Should drop in. Right, we'll go forward a snap, a snip. 
like so. Uh, we're cooking now. Just put the pito on. Which is never easy. <laughs> We are ready to go. Woo. Yeah, so about set where we had it on last, which is good. It's rock and roll. We're gonna work our way round to the, oh yeah, you can't even see what I'm doing. We're gonna work our way round to the other side of the field. We're gonna fill in the open furrow as we go. Right, Peter on. Some ribs. And we are off, boys. That's the thing I need to get off to have a look. That's going to tree. Like I say, you shouldn't need to go um, very slow on this job. Should be able to crack on fair speed. Power having I mean, you don't you don't really take any draft, you know, any um, pulling power. Hence why she can do it on these slick tires like. And talking of tyres, I know um, a lot of you've been asking, well, what's happening with the tyres, George? You said you were going to do them. Well, yeah, they are. They are in the pipeline. Um, as I've sort of, well, I've sort of always said, I should do them when we're finished drilling. You know, we don't need a tractor anymore. Um, that's when I'll get them, get the tyres off, get the wheels done, new tyres on. So that day is fast approaching. So that is still happening, but like I say, you know, it's even with slick tyres on, it's still a useful tractor to have, have about like. Oh, 
all these um, open furrows, I mean, well, next year, to be fair, I'll plough these again. I was plowing the other way, but um, even still, I'm gonna, for next year, I'm going to get myself a dry top link. Because um, it makes it so much easier when you've got a hydraulic top link to do, um, you know, to not leave open furrows like. I mean, you can do it um, without, but it's just more of a faff like. So that'll be a purchase for next year on the plough. We'll get a hydraulic top link. Splashing along quite nicely. I've got some mates who have come and found me. It never, never takes long. I think it's well, it about an hour, I think, uh, before the first uh, goal come and found me. And I've got quite a few friends now, as you can see. Um, Rich has turned up. He's been drilling for about an hour. Finished the bottom. Well, it is two fields really, but it's one block. Um, it's separated by track this field uh, and he's I'll finish that bottom half and he's busy drilling that as we speak he'll get that done tonight um, meanwhile I'll get most of this done today it's Saturday tomorrow and then hopefully finish it off in the morning Richard come and then drill that that'll be um, half of the bean seed done then we've got another 30 acres of bean seed to put in um, and then we're pretty much up to date, really. Weeks in, we've got another field um, that is weather dependent, really. Um, if the weather stays fine, we'll get it in. If it doesn't stay fine, it'll go in spring, I think, but um, it'll probably get ploughed, so you might see a bit, of, uh, a bit more ploughing action. We've actually got to do quite a bit of work to the plough, so I might film that as well. Um, We've got to do a bit of welding where the depth stop, um, uh, no, not the depth stop, the shock absorber bits on the back of the plough. You know, I've had problems with that all summer, um, or autumn really. Um, and I've got a lot of metal to change, so um, yeah, I might do a little video on that. Um, I'm not done any more with the front linkage on this yet because I've not had time. Um, but yeah, when I get a day, a free day, <laughs> they don't come along very often. When I get a free day, um, I will do the front linkage on this. Um, so uh, yeah, and like I said earlier, tyres are in hand, tyres and wheels, they're in hand. They'll be um, going on fairly shortly. Um, but yeah, we're, we're plodding away quite nicely. We really are. Fast track is, um, we're doing uh, four and a half, five mile an hour. So about 8k. Uh, I've got it in actually pretty deep. Um, although it's ploughed and we're putting, you know, beans, they want to be sort of um, in uh, sort of three or four inches lot. Um, so I've got it in fairly deep. But um, yeah, fast track's coming with it quite, quite handsomely. Quite handsomely. Still don't sound great, it just hums away really. But she's the boss of it, that's the main thing. Uh, and, uh, on the drilling uh, on the drilling video, uh, a few comments was was stating the fact that why did you drill the headlands first? Well, there's two sort of specific types of drill really. There's an air drill with sprung tines, which is what we've got. And um, then you get the, the sort of the more direct drills that have got rigid tines or very strong tines. Yeah, they still tend to be 
have a bit of spring in them, but they're you know essentially a rigid tine. Um, now, if you've got one of them drills with the rigid tines, it's it's totally fine to drill the field first and then do your headland because the tines will still go into the into the headland where you obviously because where you turn on it, it runs it all down. But if you've got an air drill like our one. KV, what's it, 4.8, it's a TS, Cavernland TS drill, sprung tines. They do struggle to put it in when it's compact, you know, when you've got a hard ground, i.e. when you've been over it with, uh, you yeah, when you've turned on it umpteen times, um, to then go back and try and drill into it can mean the drill don't go in, you end up putting seed on top, so, sort of as a rule of thumb, when you've got an air drill, drill your headlands first. If you've got something like a horse sprinter, you drill them last. So, uh, so that's the, basically the reason we do it, um, drill headlands first. And it is easier if you haven't got guidance, although Richard has got guidance on that. Um, <coughs> but of course that makes, uh, if you do the headlands first, it makes doing the inside of the field easier if you haven't got guidance, so, um, you know, but, um, you know, anything can be done, but that's the reason we we drill headlands first. Basically, the drill will go in a lot easier than it will if you drill them last. And he's probably, not, he's probably halfway over that field now, no. I shan't bother showing you with a GoPro, because he's um, too far away for the GoPro to really see, so. It got dark. Well, it sort of got dark, but it didn't because I've got some absolutely awesome LED lights on board. <clears throat> we've got the Thomas LED around the top of the cab. We've got UTV headlights. We've got UTV work lights at the bottom of the cab and in the bumper. So we are not short of the odd light or two. As you can see, put your main beam on, that's some serious lightage. And it makes, does make such a difference. You're not straining to see, you know, you know your, your drill mark or your last pass or whatever. It um, just lights everything up, makes it nice and easier to see. Because when you get into the twilight hours, it's, it's, you know, it's a bonus, it really is. How fast that's just purring away she is. We are nearly done. Just another couple of passes on the headland. And we will be there. Tea is cooling. It really is cooling. Richard's finished, he's, he's done that bottom field. Uh, or the field behind us now. And um, at least that means he'll be able to come and he'll be able to come and drill this tomorrow without having to wait for me then. He'll be able to crack straight on. He'll be out the back is good as well. Um, the little um, let me just turn the yeah there you go there the the Amazon stroke eBay lights on the road it's looking bad. I mean, they're not bad at all. I mean, the lenses are a bit dirty, actually, from doing slurry ages ago. So, uh, but they're not bad, but, you know, click the Thomas, Thomas is on, and it makes a hell of a difference.
Well, there we are, sports fans. We are done. We are done, and my stomach is rumbling like a bugger. Certainly, you get a much better idea when you, you know, how good your lights are when you're working it. Now, very good, very good. All right, PTO off. All right, we can go in a high range. Like so. And this will power up a bit. Jobs are good. Oh, I'll do. I'll just drop this PT. Yeah, drop this PT off. Drop this power hour off. Um, drop this power hour off, and uh, we'll pick it up tomorrow. Bro, right, I'll get this thing dropped off. Smash back to the farm. Drop that off, and uh, get me take some starving. Like I said, about three times now. Uh, but anyway. I hope you enjoyed that little vid and uh, we'll see you on the next one. What we'll we